you're going to see in this interview is very common. Many people claim to know and to love Jesus. But the question is, which Jesus are they following? We're warned in scripture that there are many Jesuses in the world. It's time we come to the truth and understand, do we know the real Jesus or are we following after another Jesus? Pay attention to this and ask yourself, examine your own heart and find out whether you are in the truth or not. What's your name? My name's Brian. This is Brian. We just met him on the sidewalk. It's going to be a quick little thing here. He just said he likes my shirt. I just want to ask him, why does he like the shirt? Um, well, I'm a Jesus fan, I guess you could say. That's awesome. Um, I enjoy his teachings. He enjoys his teachings? Would you say you're born again, like Jesus said in uh, John chapter That's history? a rough one. Yeah? You know, because... I don't believe in that. I don't believe he was God. I don't believe he was God. I don't believe he was God. I think he was a guy, but as a guy, I think he understood love, which we all could understand. And that was kind of his whole point. Gotcha. You know, the Bible says there's many Jesuses in the world, and uh, we were warned about that. And um, there's a Jesus that's in the world that says, everything's okay, just do what you want. All you got to do is know about me, and everything will be fine. And then there's the Jesus of the Bible, which says, there's only one way to get to heaven. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I don't really believe in that. That's right. So, and, yeah. Okay. Well, That's I, inconsequential is how I live this life, but... <laughs> See, I know good. what you're saying. It's a good interview then. Is it okay if I just ask my God something for you right now? Do it. All right, Lord, Father, you know that what's going on here. I ask you to open his heart to understand the true narrow path of your son, Jesus. Give him that revelation because you're the only one who can do it. I can't do it. You see? Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. I appreciate that. That's the only thing I can do for you because, you know, the debating and arguing doesn't do anything. I know, I know. But see, I, I was born into it, so it took me a good 20 some odd years to realize I was basically just born into it and taught since birth. I never really had a chance to really decide, you know, it's yeah. kind of just, you have to believe this. Okay. Hell, you know, that's a scary place. The prayer, we, the prayer we just prayed is for God to open up your heart to receive his teachings the way he taught because if you like his teachings, what's See, I love the you Jesus like, character. Yeah. You know? See, if you like the, if you like Jesus' teachings, they're very hard to swallow, some of them. Because oh. he says he cut off your hand if it causes you to sin. He well, says, you see, that's kind of ridiculous. But hey, that's what Jesus said. So you like some of his teaching, but not all of them, right? See, I get the point, you know, not the literal, like, do this or else this, you know, yeah. but I get the point yeah. that he's trying to make, you right. know. Yeah. Well, Jesus said it, that I'm the only way to, to the Father, and if you don't believe that I am he, you, you, your sins won't even be forgiven. I don't even know if you know about see, sin. I know all about it. Okay. That's why. Okay. That's why. Have you asked him to forgive you of your sins? Oh, I have. Okay. Um, that but was you... back when I believed in it. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Well, that prayer we just prayed, I appreciate your honesty. Yeah, and man. Like I, said, I, I think that's what you. is I'm needed. To, I'm here to love you and to ask God to, God, you're going to. That's gonna, awesome. He's going to have to be the one. I, I think you're going to have a revolution coming up soon. But he's going to send other people and all of a sudden you're just going to start seeing things See, differently. I think I think we're all on the same page. You know, it just, it just comes down to like really specific beliefs. But I think the whole point of it really is just that heart change with, you know, just having love, like right. the one that Jesus apparently had, you know? Yeah. I don't think you get, you got to worship the guy because of it, but, you know, that's just my personal beliefs, I know. Right. Well, let me just leave you with this. But, but, I mean, I love that you do that because it's just spreading love no matter why you're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> well, so you just believe in love then? I do. Absolutely. I think... You know, John Lennon. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, Jesus said another thing Jesus said that people might not see. It's okay. People like Jesus as long as they he's telling them good things. But as soon as he starts telling them some stuff that's difficult, yes. then that Jesus becomes uncomfortable and uh, unattractive. But the Jesus of the Bible is very, very strict about his teachings. And, and he says that, uh, that he came into the world as our God and Savior. And that's the part that I just want to leave you with. I asked him to open up your heart. There's nothing that's I can cool. do about that. Yep, yep. And uh, God bless you. Hey, man. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Take care. Yeah. All right. Hopefully too. we'll see you soon. Yeah, man. All right. Take care. All right.